Hello everybody. It is I, not at the bins. <laughs> um I was just going to take a second and go through actually it would probably take me more than a second. Um to go through a bunch of stuff I got thrifting in the Midwest. So this was not my intention. <laughs> Obviously, you can see I had to ship home three boxes, and then this stuff was what I fit in my carry-on and my checked bag. So, I found a lot. A little bit, literally, of everything. I found jewelry, shoes, clothing, handbags, hard, like, glass items just a lot of fun things and it was to be honest lots and lots of fun so why don't we go through i am going to try and give you a price on everything because a major no a lot of it is 75 percent off and i can't just do that in my head so um i will try to give you the actual price that i paid for each item so let's get digging in. I kind of already undone a lot of the boxes because doing that one-handed is a nightmare, to be honest. So let's just get started. Here is one shoe. Um, I'll just put that aside till I can find the other one. A very fun colored, it's almost like ribbon um, bag. It is made in Minnesota, Babs, uh, I don't even know what that says, win something? Anyways, um, this was $4.99 and I got this at a retail Goodwill store. Um, I don't think that was 50% off, uh, but just a really fun, has a chain accent bag. And colorful back but I just thought that was a fun bag uh, next so we ended up going to um, a lot of Goodwills and then some antique stores and just some regular consignment stores so we really just were all over with different types of stores so we found a little bit of everything this is a little girl's dress, vintage, and it comes with this cute coat. It's like a baby blue. This was $6.50 and it is a size 7. Made in USA. But I just thought this was really adorable. And I think I got this at an antique store. Oh, and it looks like the brand is Kim Originals. But super cute girls dressing coat. Next. What do we oh I got this also at the antique store they had a little section of clothes it's just a what, nightgown type of uh, button down with like a pink ribbon woven through it very cute this was eight dollars Medium, 12 to 14, also made in USA. Very cute. I wouldn't wear it, but they are popular. Um, I have two of these. I'm not sure where the other one is. But these are kids hunter rain jackets. Um, I got two of these and they were half off at Goodwill. So I paid around $3.00. It is a collab, Hunter and Target, 3T, and I think both the ones I got are 3T. So that was definitely a good deal. Looks like they were priced at 35 and then down to 25 and then they were donated. 
so three bucks not bad hunter is a great brand actually a lot of collabs with target um like victoria beckham tabitha brown there's like a good chunk of them that are actually good collabs so we got two of these i'll find where the other one is here in a second okay this is one i got at a consignment store that was doing 75 percent off their winter inventory because they were wanting the spring inventory to come in so a lot of they had so much i went two days or we went two days because they had so much stuff to go through but this is a nice i hadn't heard of this brand it's like a sweater i see by connie k made in usa size small 20 let's see well, that was five dollars and i looked this one up and i believe this one i can post for about 40 i'm pretty sure um but i had not seen this brand before but it is a very nice quality you can tell so i got that next this is a henry i have not um bought this for myself i had heard of the brand before Henry Bendel, um, bag, this was also 50% off, it was at a non-chain thrift store, so kind of like a local thrift store, so 50% off, so I paid around 62-ish dollars, which is a really great deal for this. I have never picked this brand up, but I love all the details on it. And this was stuff full of inventory, so there might be something in here, actually. Oh. oh, earrings. My sister makes earrings. And those are in here for me. Um, I think that is it. But yes, really, really cute bag. Um, if I posted this, I would probably post it for around 200 Next, it looks terrible. <laughs> um, I got... Oh gosh, I hope it didn't break. Let's see. Um, I got a bunch of these, like, months ago. My sister picked them up. And then I just got them when I got to her place. Okay, good. Um, but these are Ray Dunn Disney cups. And they have little funky tops. This one I paid full price for. So I paid $17 for it. This was from Home Goods. But I'll have to look this up and see what it's selling for. But I had like seven or eight of these. <laughs> Uh, to bring home but those are also good because they are either clearancing them out so you can't really find them anymore or I don't know where they were sold originally um, because I couldn't find them anywhere but home goods and TJ Maxx so it seems like it was a limited space or time when you could get them. So I picked up a bunch of different ones. Some are selling better than others, but I will definitely get my money back on all of those. Next is a very beautiful bag. You can kind of guess what it is if you're a bag enthusiast, but it is a Brahmin. Uh, this is a vintage Brahmin. Has some markings here, but it did come with the dust bag. And the inside is actually pretty good. Um, this I only paid $14 for. So this was a really good buy. It has the crossbody strap. I would probably post this close to a hundred a hundred and twenty something like that so that was a really good buy 
all these bags feel like I have something else in it. I don't know if it's just because the bag is heavy. Let me just double check. Because I really, I, I hid stuff in every, not hid, but packed stuff in every bag. Okay. Next, a pair of Alexander Bierman. I have not sold this brand before. I looked it up and it sells for around, I think, $50 to $60. I got it for $4. So I ended up paying $4 for these. And I will post anywhere from $50 to $60 probably. So great pickup there. Next, um, I got this at regular Goodwill, but it was 50% off. So it was 50% off of seven, so it was about 350. Brand is Cecilia Prado. I hadn't seen this brand before. My, it is not draping well. But it just has a lot of like fun like accents glittery um i looked this up i forget what it was posting for but i think around 40 to 50 so three dollars and 50 cents for that and it's in really good condition oh, what does the back look like it has like a little design on the back too so yes that was also a really great find um, next, let's do this one. This one, they took the takeoff, but I paid 25 for it. It's just amazingly fun. So colorful. Butterfly. I loved it. So I paid 25 And then, of course, I stuffed it with things. What is that? Okay. What is in here? <laughs> I forgot. Okay, let's see. Oh, I, oh, okay. Um, I got this, it's pretty hefty. Perfume bottle. This was $22.50. I did not get a discount on this, but it is very cool. Like a little swirl that runs through it really great quality really really great quality um so yes $22.50 for that every time I went somewhere I'm like okay you have to find the lightest things because I have to bring all this home and what did I end finding like two pound perfume bottles I don't know how this happened okay we're hiding more mugs let's see what this one is oh Olaf uh, this one I did not get on sale, so I paid full price for this. And with some of these, I can hold off and post when they're not as new. Um, and you can obviously get more because they're not in, like, circulation anymore. Sorry, I had to tape all of the little peoples in. Um... So I'll just see. I'll double check what they're going for right now. And if I need to, I'll just hold off and post them at a different time. But Ray Dunn, Disney, and this one is Olaf, and he was 17. Oh, and it looks like the brand on this is Mr. Norman, made in the Philippines. So it did have a brand. just so happy just love it okay moving on um this I got at the antique store where I got those other where I got the nighty and the kids uh dress and coat and this I don't think there's a tag I only paid $2.50 for this, but that's because it does have a condition issue. It's missing 
a chunk of sequins right there. And I maybe on the front. Don't, a little bit there. But for $2.50, oh, it was too pretty. Um, I won't fix it, but I'll just sell it as is. Um, but it's a really pretty pink dress with like beaded flower, flower suns. I love it. Um, I'll see if I can find like a tag somewhere inside, but I couldn't, I don't think there was one. But $2.50, anyway. Why not? Okay. Next. Oh, it looks like I have stuff in here, too. Let me open this up. I also got these at that antique store with the dress. Oh, there's Widget. So naughty. Um, Little Skunk Family. So cute. I should put it somewhere you can actually see. Um, these were, I think, three dollars. I thought it was two, but when I got up there, he said three, so. But it's still good price. They did ask if I had a pet skunk, and I was like, no. <laughs> Is that normal, pet skunk? Um, just made in Japan. But how cute. Next is, I got this at kind of a vendor antique spot, so everyone had different booths. This was 28 and it's so pretty. It's like little beads, well, biggish beads, I should say. I love it. So yes, 28 for that one. What else do I have in here? This really accumulated fast. I don't know how I did this. Uh, Rip and Dip, definitely look out for this brand. They sell pretty well. It usually has a naughty cat on it somewhere. Uh, I think it's a medium, but this just says must be nice around the collar it has a lot of them have like a graphic pocket or something with a cat on it um but this one i love the collar and then the shirt is just sort of a plain shirt but i think i think i paid full price for this so i think i paid seven seven dollars for that next Oh, this thing was a beast. Oh, it looks like I've got stuff inside. Of course. Next is this little trinket dish with birds, a piano. This I did pay full price for. And the bottom says made in occupied Japan. And that is the inside. A little bit of, you know, wear on the piano, but it was really cute. So we got that. What else is in my canister? Actually, I think they ended up checking this because my canister looks suspicious at the airport. So this all got checked. Um, Next, I got this at the antique store. It's like, I wonder if this glows. Hmm. Because it it's that yellowish color, yellow-green color. That makes you think it glows. I'll have to check that out. But this was $5. No marking on the bottom. But really pretty. We were going to this place and they were just, they were like 30 minutes from closing. So we had to pretty much run through, but they had so much good glass 
and I only wanted to take my chances on so much because I didn't want to break a bunch of stuff but it's a really pretty like dresser you can put it on your dresser okay next a huge canister Ray Dunn Disney this one was on sale $12 Snow White and the Seven Dwarves Um, I think this one is pretty popular right now. It's going for like 50 to 60, something like that. The other one that was popular that they were clearancing was the Ray Dunn Pixie Opalescent Pink one. Um, but at that point I had already bought a lot of these and I just could not fit anymore. So, but that one was also, would have been a great pickup. Okay, moving on. This is Tool from Anthropology. Uh, this was half price. I think I paid $3.50 for this. Just a blazer, size medium. It's like a yellow and red striped blazer. Lightweight. I wonder what the material is on this. Maybe it's just cotton. Yeah, cotton. Um, I would probably post this for around 30, 35, somewhere in there. Okay, I have one more thing in this bag. And it was difficult to carry all this around, I'm telling you. I was struggling. Widget. You're so destructive. Um, this I got at Goodwill. It was 50% off, so $3.50. Paradiso 2X. I didn't look up the brand, but usually this colorful, fun prints sell well. And it has, like, beaded accents on it. Um, so even though I didn't look up the brand, I feel this will just sell well and for 350 it was a really good deal and it's a good size too 2x okay i'm going to move some stuff around and then we will get into the next box okay we have the next box let's see what we have in here this uh jj large new with tags like a blazer jacket um this was 75 percent off this was seven seven dollars um awesome new with tags j jill it's like a grayish charcoal long sleeve you could definitely wear this in the spring or even the summer it's not like heavy heavy but you could use it Pretty much year round. Let's see what it's made out of. Rayon, Lycra, Spandex. But yes, great deal on that. Next, they were also clearancing a lot of their handbags. So I got a lot of very cute handbags. This is Hobo. You can kind of see down in there. It's in really good condition. The inside is really clean. The outside is really clean. Leather. Um, it was 75% off. I paid $9 for this. I will probably post this for around 60. Maybe more. Okay, next is a Michael Kors. It does have this ink stain, which I'm gonna try to work on. But this also came with the 
the wallet. Which also does have some condition-ish issues, but I'm willing. I'll just sell it together. And I didn't even know it was part of this. At the checkout, the lady's like, hey, you get this little bag with your bag. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, but it was 75% off. So I paid six. For this and the wallet. This is really heavy. <laughs> this box is like busting. Um, so yes, I will try to get that ink stain out. If not, at least minimize it so it's not as intense looking. Uh, so we'll try to do that and work on the handles a little bit. But I mean, for six dollars, a Michael Kors and the wallet, definitely a good deal. Next, I got these at regular Goodwill. I think, did I pay 50% off? I don't remember. Let's just say I didn't, but this is forget me not napkin rings set up for made in japan and it has like a gold rim i just really love them they're really cute and they were in the box easy to ship and not worry about it breaking so i might post those for around 25. next where did i oh okay i got this Twelve dollars. This is a really cool opening I haven't seen before. But you flip that down and then flip it up. It is leather. I don't know if there is a brand on this one. I don't think there is. It just says vintage purse. I thought it might smell, but it doesn't. I don't know why smelly bags, just no bueno. I do not like. I will probably be doing a ozone video in the future on how I get rid of smells. But again, I usually use that on my high-end bags because it is a very intensive process to do the whole thing. So but this one was $12, leather, chain, accent, very pretty. I will probably post this for 40. These are all just estimates too, I'll probably look them up. This is just me guessing, just off the top of my head. Um, so it might be a little more, a little less, but in general, $40, and I usually post a little higher um because don't cheat yourself right all your stuff is worth it i had to pack all this and ship it home so don't discount all the work you do okay this is just marisa's it does have the tags 34.90 they were selling it for 12 75 percent off but this was a really pretty shirt purple and it has like a crisscross back so not like an outrageously amazing brand but still really good oh i have a lot of I didn't even realize. okay un momento i'm gonna get a scissors okay so here are the well i have three this one is the Queen of Hearts mug, which I already showed you. I just had two of them. Um, and then this one is the Ray Dunn Tinkerbell cup. I did... What should I pay for this? I think I did pay full price for this. Um, so $16.99. And then I have another Olaf mug, but this one says worth melting for. And this one... Yes, this one I paid full price for too. But it has like the same topper. So we got more. I've got mugs galore going on. And then this is the another um, Queen of Hearts mug. This is amazing. Probably the best find. Oh gosh, it's so heavy. Uh, this was at the 75% off consignment store around 14 
No. Nineteen. Okay, something like that. It wasn't seventy-five. It was seventy-five percent off of seventy-five. Okay. Um, an extra large Coos Van Den Acker, New York. It's like this large sweater. Very cool. Let me show you the back. Amazing. I love it so much. Um, I only did a quick look up on this and I think I saw something posted for like $350, $350. Um, but I do need to research it more to get the right price I want to put on it but it definitely was an amazing pickup and it was great cushioning for all of my mugs so but it does take up like the whole box okay we're moving on people we're moving on oh wait I have something else over here Um, I have this necklace, excuse you, I have this necklace, all like pendant, it's very pretty, um, this was $3.99, it is signed, Nancy Svensson, 1993, very pretty. Um, oh, I got this at Goodwill. I think the price tag fell off, but I think it was like a dollar. It's a little pig pin cushion, I'm pretty sure. But it was super cute not to get. So I got that. Next, I got this necklace at Goodwill. It looks like it has, I don't know, a black center. Very pretty. And that was $1.99. And what else is in here? Oh, the other one fell out, but these are like Native American blessing bear earrings with a feather. These were $2.99. The other one's probably in here. Yes, it is. Okay, I had some more jewelry too, so those must be hidden somewhere. So, I guess we'll find them when we find them. Next is a Betsy Johnson. Look at that. Bag charm. Wee. Um, very cool. I'm pretty sure this is vintage. Um, I'll look it up just to double check. I just sold a few months ago a vintage Betsy Johnson because the quality on these are amazing. They really are great. Um, the vintage Betsy Johnsons are just, I don't know how to describe it. Just really good quality. What is that? Oh, I didn't even know there was a little rhinestone accent on this side. Um, but I paid 30 for this. So I will probably price it similar to my other one that sold high. Um, maybe around 130 Um, But I will kind of look and see what's out there. But really fun Betsy Johnson. What else is in here? We have a new with tags, Harley Davidson, uh, XL. This was 75% off of 20. So brand new Harley Davidson for like five bucks or around there. Let's see what the back looks like. 
yeah, the graphic is mostly on the back on this one. So really good price on that. This was also 75% off. Air Jordan, made in Macau, 2005. Ooh, not exactly vintage, but this was $10, but 75% off, so. And it's really good condition. Not like staining or anything. So, an insanely good price for that, just heavy. So if any of you are on vacay or traveling or whatever and you just come across a massive hoard like I did, um, definitely check out Pirate Ship. You can find some really great rates on Pirate Ship to ship stuff back. So don't let it scare you to ship stuff. And also just in all of your shipping, like if you're a shipper for any of the platforms or if you sell on any of them definitely check out pirate ship because they give you good rates i believe they do ups i think they do fedex and then usps so okay this one was cartis usa size 10 it does have the tag. It was priced at the store at two nineteen, and then reduced. Um, but this is a really cute jacket. I don't know. I I think I did look it up, but I would say probably fifty to seventy. I'm gonna say. I'll look it up again, but I'm just going off the top of my my head here. Okay, I got it out. Um, this is a vintage Barbie case. It's in really, really good condition. Um, I did look it up on eBay before I bought it because obviously I'd have to ship it home when maybe I sh could just buy it off of eBay. And ones in worse condition were being posted for around 30 so not a huge difference, but being that this one was in such good condition, I decided to just get it. I'm a sucker for vintage Barbie cases too. So let me open this up. It is packed too. I'm telling you, I packed every nook and cranny and all my things. Um, yeah, 25 I paid for this if I didn't say. Okay. This is for my niece. This was not on sale anywhere. <laughs> if I can open it, I'll show you. Just a Disney bracelet. Um, and then this is for my knees. So, those are non-thrifted finds. Um, found some more jewelry. Uh, this was $4.99. It is a pendant and then the matching earrings. Very vintage, large, fun. Love it. Great. So $4.99 for those. Um, I got this necklace. I think it's abalone. It's cold. Um, but it's purple. I believe abalone. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not well versed in the jewelry. $4.99. That. Oh, and this was so fun. This is a vintage necklace. Um, I paid two two ninety nine for it. Um, and you put a picture in it. You you shove a picture in there. It's a little wooden TV. It does not say have any markings or anything, but I just thought it was very unique. Brooch was eight dollars. Very fun. Love it. Eight dollars. There's two poodle pins. And they have little rhinestone hats. Look how cute they are. Um, but seven dollars for both of those. 
Okay. What do I have here? Um, so yeah, you can see a lot of the ones I saw for the Barbie cases, these accessory containers were gone and it didn't have this string. Um, I kind of, because I shove stuff in here, I need to rehook this string, but it didn't have the string or that. So I decided to get it um, because it did. It was really good inside. It had a lot of the stuff that a lot of the other ones did. I just got this for myself, actually. Um, it was a set and she is in super good condition besides me just throwing it around a minute ago. But these are left in, and I think these are Miss Prissy? Is that right? Um, but these are a cream and sugar set, so let me get, let me get my other one. Here she is. Amazing. I love them so much. Um, this was Miss Pris, not Miss Prissy. Um, $55. So I think that's a pretty amazing deal for how good of condition these both are in. I love them. Um, they did have a teapot of the blue one, and it was a hundred. And then they had, I think, a cookie jar with the yellow Miss Pris. And it was, oh, all of them were in such great condition. But the cookie jar, they wanted 200 for. Um, and I didn't want to ship. I was already overwhelmed. So, um, but I got them. But those also were there. And it was also a really good deal for those. And then, at, so at the end, I'm trying to think what I all got. I got these. And this, and maybe something else I'll have to remember. Um, but this is like a peachish pink with a little deer glass trinket like box for your dresser or whatever you want. I don't think I've ever seen this before. Granted, I haven't seen a lot, but I haven't seen this before. It has such a little nub for a table. Uh, this was eight. I believe. It says vintage Jeanette deer trinket box 18. So we got that. And here we can have a little, it has the little clothing hanger up here. Obviously stores well. It is another Barbie. It was Vicky's. Um, made in 1962. I forget what I paid for this. At this one, they took the um, price tags off so the each vendor could get paid for their booth. I would say probably around $20, maybe less. Oh, look, I stuffed it with more things. We have a very cool ashtray Murano ashtray. What is that thing? Oh, it's the tape. <laughs> I'm like, there's something floating in there. Um, it was 17 or $18, so I was kind of contemplating, especially with how heavy it was, um, what I wanted to do. But at that point, I was just dedicated. You know, let's just get it all and see what happens. So, it is very unique. It has like a black, white, and red rim. And I looked it up and uh, Murano ashtrays sell uh, anywhere from 25 to, depending on how large it is, like some of those massive ones sell for quite a bit more, like 75, hundreds, 100, whatever. So I'll look it up a little more, see what I want to post it as, but I think it was worth 18 for sure. So we got that. For rainy days, it's a little bank. Is that a crack? Oh, it is a crack. But I think I did that actually. That was my fault. Um, let me see. 
created by Earl Bernard, made in Japan. Yes, I think I dropped her. I think. She is very durable though, but she did not come out unscathed. But either way, very colorful, fun bank. I loved her. So we got that. Listen, if that's like the biggest break after I shipped all of this across the country, shoved it in a suitcase, like, I'm okay with that. Okay, here's the rest of, or just the inside of the Barbie case. Also really love that. Barbie by Ponytail. That's strange. Okay. Our last box. I know, I can't believe I bought this much either. We're in the same boat. But I love watching a good unboxing, so hopefully you do too. Let me move these, because I don't want to hurt them. Um, and let me open the rest. Okay, we got it open. Um, this was $10, I remember that. It is Harrods, like a clutch, leather clutch. Harrods London, made in Italy. Has the little strap there. Inside's in really good condition. I'm not sure what I'll post this for. I saw some were posted for low, but this is in really good condition. I probably would go at least 40 for that. Next, a vintage Dooney. Has a little scuff there and some corner scuffing. This was 15. And where is the inside? So vintage Dooney. We will get into that one a little more to make sure all of the markings are there. Okay, what else do I have? Next, I got a vintage coach. I did pay 45 for it. It is made in USA. And I haven't seen one exactly like this. With such a long, like a long shoulder strap. Mini tote bag. So we'll see. I need to look it up more, but I definitely think I can at least double my money. Next, I got a Lucky Suede bag. It looks like it's drawstring. And there is that. $30, but 75% off. So that was seven dollars and fifty cents. Lucky sells relatively well, so that was definitely a good pickup. Five dollars for a little vintage silver clutch. I love the way this opens too. It has a little stamp of the brand. I'm gonna have to look into that. That's five dollars. Looks like it got a little indent on its journey. Next, I have a purse from Goodwill, the sack. Really good condition, inside and outside. And this one was $4.99. Juicy Couture. Just a tank top, lightweight. This was half price, so I think I paid three for it. It doesn't have the logo or anything anywhere, but I think still it was worth a pickup. Size medium. Um, also, don't sleep on just fabric. You can sell fabric for decent money. 
Um, I looked this one up and it sells, the brand sells relatively well. And then this print I think will also, it's very 90s, that bright print and it was only $1.99. Brand is Guilford Mills Ink Guilford Frank. Um, probably forty dollars. Boston Proper. It's like a very Barbie, neony, almost pink. Boston Proper is a good brand to pick up. This was half price, so I think I paid three fifty. Size small. like you're gonna go play tennis okay what all do I have in here this one I hadn't heard of before Arsenko Ranch large this was half off so about 350 I can probably post for 30 around 30 Next, I think this is a vintage, vintage Lacoste Sport, designed in France, made in Indonesia. These seem to be selling relatively well as well. There's a little. This was also 50% off. Each Goodwill there had different colors. Um, but I do remember almost all the clothes I picked up at Goodwill, besides maybe like two, I did fit, I got at 50% off. So this was about $3.50. Okay, these are all mugs, which I will get to. T. Janello or Tianello leather, $4.99. Really good condition. Love the yellow. Mug. I'll open that in a second. Next, a coach. Top handle. Gray and silver. It does have the hang tag. It does need a little cleaning, so I need to spend a little time cleaning. This was 75% off. Around $9.50, 10 $9.50. Okay, so we got that. Next is a Kate Spade. This was also 75% off. Really good condition on this. Seventy-five percent off of fifty-eight, around fifteen. So we have a cute bag. Next, a fossil, also good condition. I'm used to picking all this stuff, all of my stuff up at the bins, and it is not good condition <laughs> so getting all of this i definitely feel spoiled um but i love the it's like a rose gold metal and that was 75 percent off 825 Left mugs. Yes. Okay. I will open these mugs and I will be rid. Okay. Here is the last of it. Um. Okay. So these are four more Ray Dunn Disney mugs. Um. This one I got was bought at full price. But a dream is a wish, and it's like that opalescent, and that was 
Why are you having such an issue? $16.99. And then it has Cinderella on the back. Um, and then another Tinkerbell, which I showed you earlier. That one I didn't get on clearance. This is a Beauty and the Beast till the last petal falls. This one was clearance, and this is like a little uh, canister, not a mug, and that was eight dollars. And no graphic on the back, but that one was five. The camera is having an issue here. Um, five dollars. Okay, we made it through. We did it. I have a lot of cleaning up to do, but literally I, I pretty much forgot everything I bought, so I was excited to go through it all again anyway. But we have a lot of stuff. A pile, you would say. But so many cool things you never find. I mean, besides the Ray Dunn, like this stuff you don't find where I live like the 75% off and there's good brands and it's not picked over and all of that that was insane so it was lots and lots of fun found lots of great things so now I just gotta post it all Alright, well, thank you for watching. If you could give the video a thumbs up, it does help the algorithms. Um, I do post everything on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. Depending on where it is in my list of things um, is when it will be posted. I have a lot of stuff from the bins left to do, and to be honest, I haven't been there in a week. And I'm ready to go, even though I've got a pile. So, I got lots to do, but more to come probably a lot of bins digging because that's where it's at all right thank you for watching and we'll see you later but wait there's more <laughs> just when i think there isn't there's more um i found a little pile so i was just gonna give an update on all of this stuff uh we have a pair of flats from torrid villain disney nine and a half they were selling them for 50 and I got it for 75% off of five. So a little over a dollar, I think it came out to be. So we got those. It's funny, I was like putting stuff away and I was like, wow, I did not get that many shoes. It's because they were hiding. These I have not seen before. Subo. S Subo. Um, leather like booty very interesting looking booty uh, but these were 75% off of 30 these were a really great find they were $5.99 and they were or are Vera Wang so Sometimes it gets confused, um, Simply Vera, I think it's called, that's sold at Kohl's, but this is actually just Vera Wang. So these can sell pretty decently, um, at least for a hundred. The only downside with my pair is it is missing one rhinestone. So... I will definitely take that into account, but for $5.99, a pair of Vera Wangs. That was an amazing find. Next is a Free People crop top. 16 with 75% off. Size small. So $4.00. Four dollars. Here is the other one. Now where did I put the other one? Anyways, you saw this earlier. 
Um, these are Michael, Michael Kors. Really good condition. Size seven and a half. Like a suede. These were also 75% off of 20, so I think around five bucks. There's that. I'll find its match here at some point. And last, unless there's something hiding in here, which is possible, um, this is J. Crew leather. There is some, like, you can kind of see a denim transfer or like a bluish spot there. And there is some distressing and whatnot, but um, I have sold one of these in black. And I think I sold it for 50. Um, this one was at Goodwill and I got it for $4.99. You can see that. And there's a little spot there. So I'll try to clean it up as good as I can. But um, some people just really like the distressed look as anyways. So I'm really not too worried about it. But it was definitely worth $4.99. All right, let's say that's it. We're just going to say it's it. All right, we'll see you later.